Hi, I'm Betty Hill, a licensed funeral director here at Garden Hill Funeral Director. Tonight on Funeral Talk, we'll be talking about how to apply for Medicaid burials. In the event the decedent was receiving Medicaid and you plan to use it for a funeral, you need to notify the funeral director in advance so that he or she will be able to provide you all the details regarding the state, their guidelines for burial uh, to be approved for Medicaid. If the decedent does not qualify based upon the information given, which you will be providing to a social worker, caseworker within the burial coordinating unit for that county, okay? So it's going to be important that you tell the funeral director that you don't have insurance. If you don't have it and you don't plan to use it, you need to make sure it's known. And the fact is, you're basically applying for Medicaid because either there's no funds or an estate. If that's the case, please explain that to the funeral director so he or she will then explain to you how Medicaid works and they can help you move forward in applying for Medicaid. First, if you know that your uh, loved one has passed and you contact your chosen funeral home, you would then say to him or her um, that the family is moving forward with trying to apply for Medicaid. They will tell you what the state's uh, guidelines are within that state for Medicaid burials and then inform you so that you can make the best decision for your loved one. In the state of New Jersey, the total funeral cannot exceed $4,340 and that must include your funeral and your burial or cremation. So. If approved, Medicaid will pay to the funeral home $2,243 and to a cemetery or crematory up to $524. Again, it's important that you say that in the beginning of your arrangements once the family has decided that there is no other financial options available. That will make your transition and choosing your services also much easier. It also helps the funeral director to immediately start working in the direction that he or she needs to go to help you obtain those type of services. Because sometimes it is a process. The process may include you either going to the caseworker within that county and asking a series of, answering a series of questions which they will ask you about the finances of that decedent. If it is disclosed that the decedent has other financial needs, however, Medicaid may not approve for burial regarding that recipient of Medicaid. And usually, if there is insurance and the insurance exceeds the amount of what Medicaid approves and allow you, it does not make sense to even apply for that Medicaid burial because you're over the guideline of what they would pay for. One thousand allow the family to add, which is one thousand five hundred and seventy dollars. Okay, so every recipient that's receiving Medicaid does not necessarily qualify for Medicaid. If there is insurance and the family has a policy to bury the person, then they would look for the family to apply that policy towards the burial expenses of the decedent. I hope that this information was helpful to you in terms of determining if your loved one would qualify or even if the family would desire to use Medicaid towards the burial expenses. Again, I'm Betty Hill here at Garden Hill Funeral Service. If there is any further questions regarding the information that I just shared with you, please feel free, as many of you have done, to either call us at 973-675-8401 or visit us at www.garden-hill.com.